Hey friends, welcome back to Cooking with Venditti. I know it's been a minute since you've seen me, so just wanted you to know that I've been on vacation, but I'm coming back today strong. I'm going to make something I heard about. I've never had it. One of my girlfriends had asked if anyone had ever had a salmon po' boy, salmon croquet po' boy, and there's a difference with the po' boy. Po' boy has to be with French bread and not have any, so I'm making a salmon croquette sub. All right, let's go. All right, first thing first, make sure you get this brioche sub roll. It's delicious. That's what's going to make your sandwich stand out. Get a little shallow tray. I'm using a leftover Waffle House tray. I put some flour and some Louisiana crispy fish fry. I'm taking a fork and I'm blending it in well. You want to use a can of Alaskan pink salmon. It doesn't matter the brand. You can see it's very healthy for you. That is before you fry it, but it's still good for you. All right, take a bowl. After you've drained your salmon, I'm trying to make sure I don't pronounce that L, that salmon, remove the large bones. My mom used to keep the big bones in there, and I didn't like them because you can feel them. They're crunchy, although they're quite nutritious for you. I leave the smaller bones in there. You won't feel them, and they're... Um, Good for your health okay so remove the large bones out and i try and get some of the skin out i don't get all of it sometimes i do sometimes i don't today i'm not i'm just really focusing in on removing that center piece of uh backbone because it's crunchy if you leave it in there all right in another medium-sized bowl you want to add your mayonnaise and mustard and you can use Dijon mustard. I was just out. I prefer Dijon, but I just had yellow mustard today. So that's what I'm using today. Add your salmon in there and use a fork. You're going to break it down well. Now start adding your seasonings. And I forgot to tell you, don't worry about the measurements or the exact seasonings. You can check the description part of this video for the recipe. Um, you guys know I love to cook with that W salt, so I'm adding some of that. But just off the top of my head, um, you can use all-purpose seasoning. I like to use Cajun seasoning. I'm from the South. I live in Texas. I use it quite a bit. And um, one egg. Now, if you use two cans, depending on the size of your family, add two eggs. But the egg is what's going to bind your salmon croquettes together mix it well uh my bae diced up the yellow onions and green bell peppers for me and they're a little larger than what i like so if you're chopping your own make them a little finer than this chop okay add that in give it a little stir with your fork and i'm adding a little more seasoning because i'm getting ready to add i use crushed Ritz crackers. Some people use panko breadcrumbs. I just like the flavor that Ritz crackers gives to my salmon croquettes. So that's why I added a little more seasoning so that it won't be too bland. But as always, season your dishes according to your preferences, okay? Take your fork, give it a good stir, mix it. And it doesn't matter what brand of mayonnaise you use or mustard, okay? Now, take a spoonful, maybe a tablespoon and a half of the salmon mixture. Roll it in your hand. You want to make small medallion um, croquettes. Now, some people do an oval shape. I'm doing a rounded medallion shape because, again, we're making a sub sandwich. And I want these to fit inside. All right? Give it a little pat. Uh, roll it tightly. You see it makes about... 11 and I saved some for two large ones that I'm going to use for breakfast Now you see me dreading it in this um, Fish fry and flour mix coat it well be very careful your salmon croquet might fall apart So if so just re-roll it all right Place your tray of salmon croquets in the refrigerator for 15 minutes in a cast iron skillet with hot vegetable oil or avocado oil your choice um Place your salmon croquets in there. 
do about six at a time. Leave some space so you can have room to flip it over. Cook each side. I time mine. I put my timer on two minutes. So about four or five minutes max to cook these until they're nice and golden brown. You see how beautiful they are? And these are the two that I'm going to eat for breakfast the next day with some grits and eggs. That's what my mom did. And they're beautiful, right? Beautiful, right? All right, now it's time to make this, I can't say the word, romaldi, romalot sauce. You take a bowl, add some mayonnaise, mustard, some sriracha chili hot sauce, some dill pickle juice, give it a little whisk, stir it, blend it in well, add a pinch of your Cajun seasoning, give it a little stir, and this is my secret ingredient in my sauce I add Heinz 57 sauce all right let's get that bread prepared in a cast iron skillet take your butter melt it on medium heat or medium high heat you know your stove better than I do open your brio sub roll lay it face down in the skillet let it toast for about a minute or two until it's nice and golden brown this is how you want it all right take your sauce and spread it on your brioche sub roll on each side. Add your lettuce, and I didn't have tomatoes, but if you have some tomatoes, that would go well with this sandwich. Add some tomatoes if you have them. I didn't have any, that's why you don't see any. Assemble your sandwich, put it together, and it's beautiful. Um, about four of them will fit on this brioche sub roll. And I can't wait to try it for you. It looks beautiful. I'm going to have it with some, just some store-bought frozen french fries. Hey, you know what? I said you would not see me, but this sandwich is so good. You have to hold it carefully so the medallions don't fall out. Or patties, I call them medallions, but mmm. Mmm, mmm. My head's in my mouth. Sorry about that. It's good, y'all. But delicious. All right, see you later. Peace.